It was almost an addiction. Addiction to murder. Joe Rifkin referring to serial killing as an addiction it does make a certain sense. Maybe not to the rest of us, but forensic psychologist N.G. Burrell spent hours with the convicted killer talking to him on behalf of the defense. He was uh, thoughtful. He was, he was relatively well-spoken. He had uh, some sense of humor. Uh, he seemed to appreciate the fix he was in. A fix that started 25 years ago this past summer when state troopers caught up with Rifkin after crashing his pickup on the Southern State Parkway and making a grisly discovery. He was caught with, 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 with a body that was decomposing. The body of a prostitute, one of 17 Rifkin admitted to strangling over the course of four years. Had he been more streetwise, things might have gone differently. But Rifkin was a suburban kid and by all accounts not a criminal until his very first murder. And that's what makes these guys, I guess, so, so scary is that they don't come off as raving lunatics or they don't come off as deeply disturbed. In an interview with CNN, Rifkin said he thought that by just killing one woman, he would actually get it out of his system. There's a lot of self-lying. Ultimately, it was his own self-loathing. Dating back to Jack the Ripper, you know, he fits the patterns filled with antipathy for other human beings, particularly prostitutes. That turned him into the type of a in wait serial killer we don't often see on the loose today. The phenomenon of serial killing obviously hasn't gone away. In this era, what has supplanted has become these mass shootings, these terrible events which crop up throughout the country. I wanted to find out if he was at all involved in the Gilgo Beach murders. In 2011, CBS 2's Mary Calvi questioned Rifkin about his potential involvement in the murders of more than a dozen additional prostitutes whose bodies were found buried along Ocean Parkway. But this time, the convicted killer said he couldn't take the credit. I remember asking one last question. I asked, if they were to let you out of prison now, would you kill again? He looked around for a minute and said, I would like to say no, but honestly, yes. Rifkin is serving life in prison.